The crowd has been waiting for this one for a very long time. We're at Brooklyn Hall. I'm Todd Grisha. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time for our tale of the tape. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This. Rocky Marciano, 201 pounds of pure terror. This man is an absolute machine. The juggernaut, Joe Joyce, one of the hardest hitters in the division. Not many fighters hit harder than the juggernaut. If this fighter knows how to use that reach, this is going to be a shut night. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. You couldn't buy a seat in this place. You'd be very lucky if you're ringside, but you know what? Watch it from home, you've got everything on a plate. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. So here we go, should be a good one. He just misses with that big right hand. This fight has a real good flow to it. Lands with the right counter. Fighters love being in this venue as the audience is right on top of you, and they will be bringing the heat tonight. They are ready to watch this showdown. This is that place you want to say, I fought there, I been there, and now we are here. That one lands. He threw the hook, didn't land. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him on the blind side of the referee. Get him out. You find the swarm and you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push him off balance because they will just stay in your face. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the. What do we expect to see here in round two? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. showing exceptional chins, by the way. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. They've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. They just missed with that big right hand. It's a 
Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Good one. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good counter punching. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. If you're in there with a guy so big in front of you, you've got to be smart. You've got to use your smarts and use that skill. This is what you've prepared for. You've got to negate that jab, let it ride past you, and push his own weight on him. Well, we know what the game plan is going to be for this fighter. He's got to stick and move and avoid the big shots from the bigger man. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because somebody's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice counter. doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. There's the bell for round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. That left counter punch will score. That left counter was perfectly timed. And a counter left. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Down her right. That left. He caught it big time. They weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Better be careful. The referee may take a point if he keeps flinching. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. And he fails to score with that left hook. Both 
both men step back. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Time for the fifth round. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. A perfect counter shot. They exchange punches. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to... And he will hold here, and good thing he did because he was getting beaten up. You need to worry that the referee's not going to throw him out of the ring and disqualify them both. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness! I admire these guys. Good counter left hand there. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. Missed him with that uppercut. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter and a tournament. There's the bell for round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. and shoot. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. He misses with that jab. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Fantastic punch. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter pos The referee really, really thinking about stopping it. What a shot that put him down. Will he make it back to his feet? And you can see here his face basically melts into his glove, and down he goes.
Rollins looking for that KO. And we could see an upset right here. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. And there's the bell to start round seven. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he does that, I'll be very, very surprised. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? Oh, what a pump! A huge opportunity! Can he cash in? Oh, and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. It's a knockdown. One see punch many gets shots like the trick. Simple, Let's see it again in slow motion. Shot. Put the fighter down. the corner may have to intervene here because this, he caught him big time. Looks like they're out of trouble. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not to give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And it looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. I love the response, though. So got back up. Round eight, and we're off again. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they're on shaky leg. They're like a nuts here away from getting stopped. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. And he just misses with that jab. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that except. And they got caught. Oh, and a huge punch. A huge punch sends him down. We need to see that again. Some amazing boxing right there. Onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That is Todd. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot. <laughs> 